guys, I know it's been like two weeks since I did my last video that I said I would do videos weekly. I am very sorry, I have no excuse for that. I swear, as soon as I said that, like the heavens and the universe just said, dump all this stuff on you <laughs> over the university and stuff. So it's hard and yeah, you definitely want to keep up with it, but I definitely enjoy it, so I want to keep going as well as I can. So, as by the title of this, this is my first ever haul video. Now, this, to some people, might seem small, but to me, this is a huge haul. Um, only because um, it's recently been Mother's Day. I actually got to spend um, a day with my mum without my baby sister. Even though I love her, it's really hard to spend quality time with my mum, who I love. And it's just really hard, so it was really nice to just go out for a day, go shopping, walk around the city, have lunch with her. And not have like a little baby just going, where, where, mommy, mommy. Have lunch with her. And not have like a little baby just going, where, where, mommy, mommy. Ooh, fix up my play suit. Keeps falling down. I've got some little straps on it too, so it never disappears. But, um, yeah, so I'll get right into it. So, recently my grandparents came up to Brisbane, who live in Cross Harbour, um, for Kylie in the Brisbane Entertainment Centre. And they were in the VIP section. And so they got this little baggie. I won't show you what's inside because I've used it as a clutch just recently. But they give you this bag, and inside you got a Natio Orange Blossom Hand Cream that I have sensitive skin. I get eczema really easily. I've um, it's been a bad thing both me and my sister suffer from. And so my hands, my hands and legs get really affected, and my hands. Because I use them all day, I wash them, and I usually moisturize the rest of my body, like my legs, my arms, everywhere else. But my hands, because they're getting washed constantly, don't get the moisture. So I found this, even though if it was in a gift pack, um, this is something I really, really love. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those people you got to squeeze out everything in, in a package correctly. I don't really use this much. But it a little goes a long way. It smells amazing. It does smell like orange. Um, yeah, very orangey smell. A very orangey flower smell. If you know what mock orange is, it's a plant. Um, it does flowers that smell like that. So yeah, that's really good. Um, the second gift in the Nadia packet was a smoothie lip color crayon in rose. T rose. T rose. I'm gonna say that backwards. Um, I love this because not only did my hands get dry, but especially it's just in winter, <laughs> it gets very dry. Um, my lips get very dry and very cracked and very sore, and I don't like wearing lip glosses because they don't do anything. And if I look wear a lip balm with my makeup, my face just looks off because my lips are all pale because I've got foundation or something on them. But this um, great color, uh, like. See that it's the same color as the package, really nice. Um, but yeah, really, it's very moisturizing, very easy to apply, and it lasts pretty long, surprisingly, for something that you think is like a chapstick or something. Um, next, makeup problems. I recently went on a date, so I needed more makeup because my makeup is just powder foundation. So I went, yes, obviously, I went to the shop, but I just went to my local chemist, it's a little bit expensive there, and they don't have tested, they all they have tested, but um, I was looking for, uh, I like Rimmel, and I like, what else do I like, I like, baby, I like a lot of things, but um, I like Rimmel, and I got the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25, 25 Hour with Comfort Serum, um, um, but yeah, um, I used that, I bought it, in the morning, and I wore it from like, uh, I'm going to say this wrong, 9.30 till about like 5 or 6 in the evening. Um, first thing I noticed about it, the first time I used it, and it still happens, it has a very sticky consistency when you put it on. Like it, like you touch your face and it feels a little bit sticky. But um, it's so true. Like I'm wearing it now, I put it on probably midday. It's, I don't know what time it is. It's like 9 o'clock in the evening. 9.40 so it's 9.40 in the evening and 
I'm still wearing it, and uh, I think it's really good. Only issue is under my eyes, crease is really bad, but I'm not a big person of concealer and stuff, I don't own concealer. Um, I'm not a makeup person, I'm not a makeup. I love wearing makeup, but it's, to me it's like an art form. You always, you gotta get more, you always collect more utensils and everything, and eventually you work your way up, and it's, it's a skill you build. With that, I got the Rimmel um, London Match Perfection Loose Powder, Translucent Powder, and that was just to go on top. I like my face looking matte and clean and finished. So, I bought them, and then the other one, last Thursday? Thursday, I went shopping with my dad, because I got these, I went to uh, Harrison Scarf and Trade Secrets. And they're like, they're so cheap for some of the big name brands. Like, this is a Lonsdale. And it was so much, I think it was like, I don't even remember. But it was cheaper than what you'd get it normally. And it's just like a blue pair of like running shorts, really fluffy and warm. Because even, <laughs> I'm so terrible. I will wear jeans in the middle of summer, and summer's like 35 degrees to 40 in Queensland. But they're just so good, they're so soft. I love being warm, doesn't matter what climate I'm in. Next pair is similar, it's um, by Endless Rose, and it's like a black pleather pair of shorts, but like, I don't know what these are, they're like, you know those studs you get on like jeans and stuff, like in the pockets and stuff, or like holes, I don't remember what they are, but yeah, got these little holes in them, and like this piece of like fabric underneath, so you get the pleather, they've got the studs in them, and then like a pair of inch sewn softer shorts inside, so you're not like, if you wear white underwear it's not going to show, but yeah, that's another really cool post. The only issue I have, sorry, going back to these, only issue with these are, they have no pockets. As I wore them the other day, and I've put my hands in my pockets, and my pockets don't exist, so that was really annoying. And these have pockets, obviously. Um, then I bought these shorts. They don't have like um they're like semi this semi high waisted they like sit on your waist, not high high waisted. But they're nice, they're loose, they like would go with anything really. Like you put on a black shirt. I have a lot of black shirts. <laughs> black singlet shirt, um black singlet shirt, blue shirt, obviously. Um, yeah, anything really with that. Um, even though I have a million skirts, I don't have a ton of funky skirts that I can wear like every day. And I've got two. I've got this like a wine greeny yellow one with like a rose gold zip at the back and like one pleat like completely down the middle. I thought that was really like cool. It's like one pleat. Um, I've got these brands are. And this is Paint It Red. Well, it's yellow, so can you say paint it yellow? Um, uh, then I got a similar skirt, same brand, paint it red, and this one's like bright orange, um, and then it's like it's just like a simple skirt, but then like down the side here is like stitched, like with a tiny, tiny little slit like right at the bottom. If you can see that. Um, that's really cool too. Nice little skirt. Um, I got an Adidas shirt. I'm just I'm <laughs> fixing my shorts. Uh, I got an Adidas shirt. It's in the wash, but it's just like a plain black shirt, t-shirt. Says Adidas and like cute little dots around it, and that's it. It's really nice. Just and I wore it the other day to uni with these. I also got them. Um, these I already have running tights, but I saw these. They were really funky. Um, I really, I really think they're just like awesome tights. Um, really fun, and yeah, just like really cool. Like if you're like, it sounds weird, but if you go out running with friends, you don't want to just wear like your black full leggings and like just a crappy shirt. You'd like, you want to, even though you're like running, you kind of want to impress people. <laughs> and then Mother's Day, which was Sunday. Today's Monday, so yesterday. Yesterday, that's so funny. Yesterday we went, um, when I went shopping with my mum, we went, my first time in Lush, like, 
I, I've watched Zoella and I've watched all these other YouTubers and they go to Lush and feel their bath bombs and it's like amazing, like they're crazy. It's just amazing and it looks so good. And I went to my first ever Lush store. Lush. Yeah. Um, I really like them. One, because like, I'm an escorter. <laughs> I can't say I'm an animal activist rights person. Animal rights activist. That's what I was going to say. Um, but they fight animal testing. All their products are 100% organic. Um, they're 100% vegetarian, not vegan, because I know in some of their products they use honey. You'd have to check with them, but yeah, some of them. And I've got two bath bombs. They do have a ton of other stuff. They have shampoos, they have body bar oils, like you heat up this, like it looks like soap, like they're just old traditional soap bars. Heat it up, rub it on you, it's oil, like it's crazy. They have like shower jelly, and it's like shower gel, but shower jelly. Um, just bars of soap. They have face masks, lip scrubs, perfumes. They've got like tons of stuff. It's crazy. But I just got two bath bombs because that's all I could afford with what I had left. But um, I got a Fizz Bang bath bomb. Uh, I got this demonstrated to me. It is the coolest thing ever. Um, it's it says on the tag. It says Tof a toffee apple for your bath. Perfect for the young and young at heart. And I think it's so cute. They got these little messages on all of them. And in this fifth bang, they got a little message. I got to see one demonstrated. Um, yeah, in, in a fifth bang, they got a little message. And it's like a little paper that says bang. It's so cute. But yeah, this feet, this smells like apple pie my grandmother will cook. But um, it's so good. And if I can get it out, <laughs> it's so messy. Oh, so it's like. Massive yellow all around, and as you can see in the middle, just there, is like a little bit of greeny blue. And in the demonstration, like obviously, they use like a whole one of these in like a small basin of water, like this big. I was like, it was like intense, but it foamed up so much. There's like popping candy in them, um, and it's like foamed up. The water turns like. Obviously, it's going to turn like lighter, but it was like this intense bluey green. It was so cool, and it just like oh, it smelled amazing. And I also got a dragon's egg because it looks so cool. I've heard so much about it, and it smelled great. It says a bath, a bathtub fireworks, fizz, froth, fruity fragrance. What could you ask? What more could you ask for? Say fizz, froth, fruity fragrance. <laughs> Five times really, really fast. I couldn't. Like, I'm not even going to bother. It's just insane. And then, yeah, it just shows you, like, the, the cutest little packaging. And, like, you can go in, you can ask for help, and then more, well, in the store I went to. But, yeah, they're more than happy to ask, like, ask if you need help, um, if you need anything. They're just really cool people. Um, they were telling me that the one in London is... I think Oxford Street or whatever is like the biggest one. It's got like four levels of uh, Lush. There's like a hundred products that are specifically for that store. No store in the world uh, apart from them has them. So good. Um, yeah, this is a dragon's egg. Oh, that's so nice. I love the smells. It smells really like it's like flowery. Um, almost sounds like a jacaranda, I think. If you don't know what a jacaranda is, they are cool. But um, yeah, it just smells like a really... F I love fresh smelling flowers and stuff. Um, yeah, and that is... Oh, this amazing smell. Um, and if you see all the glitters like they have for their bath bombs and all their stuff, I was asking them, it's actually like seaweed. Like, they use seaweed for glitter. I was like, that's insane. And the last place I went to was Typo. And to be honest, Carrying the type of bag with what everyone else bought and what I bought was extremely painful because you had to like hook your fingers over what I bought. What I bought was one massive, oh, if I can hold this, <laughs> blackboard. It's probably not even fitting in the shot. Oh, if you can see that, ah! <laughs> but yeah, um, I think it's, for me, I like, I'm a really visual person, so if something's like telling me like this, like to do YouTube, and obviously this is not in priority order. Because obviously, this comes first, and this, and 
probably my uniform, then YouTube, then eBay, like, it's all over the shop, but, done. Um, but yeah, I think, for me, it's really good, for the visual. Um, and if I've got nothing to do, I can, like, write inspirational quotes. It's just really good to have. Um, you can write shopping lists on it if you need. Obviously, you don't take it to the shops because you don't want to carry them around the massive board. And on the back, it's, like, got two strings, one to hang it, um, landscape, one to hang it, portrait, um, or for people who don't do drawing, um, and don't know what that is, or if you're, like, ten years old and you still don't know, like I never did, um, but, yeah, just vertical, horizontal, and it's really good. Um, that kind of concludes my whole video. Um, I actually had really fun getting all this stuff, even though it took me, it really took me half a week. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being patient. You guys are amazing. Um, the nine of you that have subscribed, um, I know, because I can check my subscribers, it sounds really creepy, but I know, like, seven of you, so there's two of you that are, like, secret to me, so I really wish I knew who you guys were, but anyway, I don't mind. Um, thank you for being patient, thank you for being lovely. If you like my makeup, please tell me. I don't ever know if I look good. I just wear, I think I like with my hair, I thought, and like, I wore like a black coat over this. I thought I looked really gothic today, so I wasn't too sure. But, um, or punk rock or whatever. But, yeah, um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Tell me if you, what you else would like to see. Um, I have like some ideas. Um, of what I wanted to keep doing, but I like just sitting down, talking about what I like to do, what I buy, which isn't that much, I'm very poor, no, I'm not that poor, I can eat, but, um, yeah, thanks again, um, thanks for being patient, if you've, like, waited for this, I will stay on top of it, I might, I might just get to a point where I sit down for, like, a day, do five videos, and then upload them per periodically, because, I might just become so busy that that might be a thing for me. But um, I will keep you guys updated. If you don't know um, and if you don't already do, please follow me on what <laughs> Instagram and Twitter. I'm not on Twitter a ton. Usually it's linked to my Instagram. Like I'll post something on Instagram and I'll share it to my Twitter. But um, yeah, I think, yeah, please. Follow me on them. Um, I don't post that often, so you're not going to get like bombarded with stuff. But yeah, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment if you want. Please subscribe. That would be lovely. Um, give me comments on like what I could do with my face. Um, what I could do with my makeup, if you're really good with makeup. Um, and thank you again for being so patient and being so lovely, even though I'm so slack. <laughs> Um, but thank you anyway, guys. Thanks. Bye. I love you. Mwah.